meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thanks for coming, everybody. You're going to have to bear with my voice. Um, I was watching the Lions yesterday, and they lost, and I lost my voice there, too. So what can I say? Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Mark Bouchard. Here. Maureen Borey. Here. Joanne Shirky. Absent excuse. Artie Bryson. Here. Christy Hilton. Here. Chris O'Regan. Here. Cindy Valentine. Here. OK. We have a quorum. like to uh, amend the agenda, if the board wishes, or um, I make a motion that we move board member comments above our closed session hearing just makes it a lot easier with the video and keep our tv people happy in tv land support okay a motion support any discussion all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. motion passes uh next pays the bills payable i'll entertain a motion I'll make a motion to approve bills payable in the amount of twelve thousand two hundred eighty-five dollars and thirty-seven cents. Support. Motion support. Any discussion? Other than it being low. Light one. Which is end of the month. All the bills came in uh, this morning's mail. Yeah. So <laughs> next week, next week will our is next meeting will be high. Haiti. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Roll call, please. Maureen Borey. Yes. Uh, Artie Bryson. Yes. Christy Hilton. Yes. Chris O'Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Okay, motion passes. Let me roll right into the supervisor's report. Let me try to get through this. Um, the propane tanks were moved. Um, I've been out of the loop out of that the last four or five days. I know it changes daily. Um, last time I know it was moved to a property where he did not have permission to keep them. The owner called me and I told them that, you know, it's a civil matter, he's trespassing and called make a police report. Not sure where it stands from this point on, but um, I will find out uh, <clears throat> here in the next few days. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on our sewer interceptor, wastewater treatment plant authority, uh, Joe Pichar, Pearl Beach Pier and uh, Splash Grants <coughs> um, projects. Uh, definitely a lot keeping us going, keeping us busy. Uh, lots of conversations uh, I've had with, uh, um, one, with the EPA over our $1 million grant for our sewer interceptor project. <coughs> um, in October, we have to put together have an environmental review, a work plan, and approved bid language uh, for the EPA. And um, then at that point, once it's approved, it will, it will get a grant application agreement, and I'll have to bring it to this board for your approval then. <coughs> um, is going to submit a letter of intent to apply for the state revolving fund uh, so we can borrow uh, from the state with cheaper interest rates. Not really confident this program is really not well funded. Number one, can everyone kind of hear me? Yeah. I'm yelling as loud as I can. <clears throat> it's not really funded, number one, and it's pretty competitive. But I, w I really wasn't even going to. Uh, apply for it, but since we're doing this project along with IRA and we received this uh, federal grant from the EPA that gives us 70 additional points for that grant, so we may luck out. I'm not holding my breath. Um, <clears throat> I also asked the uh, EPA, that's who administers these grants, um, we, we did put in an application for a $2.5 million ask for our, our M29 water main project. <clears throat> and, um, you know, when we do the grant, they said, oh, we'll get back to you in October. And uh, she basically told me, you know, we won't hear anything until maybe May or even could, could be a year from now. 
And I love it how these jobs have to be shovel ready. But it's the way it works. Um, <clears throat> our next meeting, we will have an update on our $1 million SAW grant that we're administrating right now. Anthony's going to come in and give us an update. I think we have about six more months left on that. Is that about right? <clears throat> um, road repaving started or, or started in Harsons Island. Um, they're doing Golf Course Road, Middle Channel, part of North Channel, and Bates. <clears throat> the Phelps will be uh, later on this October. <coughs> um, the water filters and block replacements at the water plant went well. In Algonac, they did them. They finished them in one week. Uh, kudos to Josh and his crew. I'm going to stop in there and pat him on the back when I get a chance. Um, it was a big job. They've never done it before, and uh, <clears throat> they did a good job with it. Met with the water, uh, met with the water, wastewater treatment plant people, the new authority we're forming, and the county about sharing employees to speed up the transaction between uh, them, the county running the plant, to this new authority that we have to treat. Um, they weren't very cooperative. We were hoping that they would retain the th other three employees and we could just lease them from them um, be before the, um, um, and uh, for, they have a collective bargaining unit uh, uh, agreement in place for 14 months until that ran out and then we would officially transfer them over. Um, they, they were not receptive to it at all. So um, it's basically going to uh, slow up the uh, formation of the authority and us taking it over. So we got to put in place uh, benefits, you know, um, Blue Cross uh, pension and right down the line work comp. And, and you know, we always need a, a, a employee handbook and all that kind of good stuff. <coughs> so it puts us, we got to do a lot of work on that up front. Um, also, we're going out for bid, and I, I should have it for you for next week to, uh, for our companies to do a uh, rate study analysis. I want to make sure that the new authority is charging the three entities the right amount of money. Uh, look for hidden costs or, or anything that we we're overlooking or might not see. So uh, that's where we're at with on that. The employees, though, they said that one guy was willing to stay, right? Because we talked well, about that Well, they're all before. willing to stay. Okay, yeah, they but just have to work it out. The up. one guy, the manager, he, he's going he's gonna to stay with a, in a county employee, and then we're going to lease, basically lease him just because his pension, um, he, he wouldn't be able to afford to stay if... Right. If uh, uh, we could, he couldn't keep his pension. So the county did agree that, but the other three employees, okay. um, <clears throat> that's where the issue is. Gotcha. Um, let's see. The county had a public hearing in Parks and Rec for the Beach Park uh, last Tuesday. Um, they reviewed the draft of the master plan, which I have copies out there. <coughs> <laughs> went over a lot of the concerns of the people that were here and I answered all the questions. Um, went well. Everyone uh, had left pretty positive about it. Um, absentee ballots are in the process of being mailed out. Uh, Cindy just received them today and they're stuffing about how many? 1,500 envelopes? Mm, about. 17, 1800. 17, 1800, getting them in the mail. So they should be in the mail in the next couple of days. Um, we didn't get, get them till today. <clears throat> Scheduled a fall cleanup for October 8th uh, on the mainland. It's 8 to 4 on the mainland. The dumpsters are going to be available behind the water department on Muskrat Run and on the island at Brownsfield from 8 to 4. There's no Sunday pickup like we used to do on the island. We can't get the, the dumpsters and the landfills closed on Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> In conjunction with that, we're doing a block party in downtown San Susi. 
Um, it's called Dancing in the Streets. And uh, you, you might not want to hear this, Chris. <laughs> um, we, we wanted to give up. Everything will be closed by then on the, in San Susi. And, uh, and the, the bar is closed and everything. Um, we wanted to give a, a shot in the arm to the businesses in, in, in San Susi. So we're closing the street down that Saturday at 4 o'clock. Uh, we got the county stage. Uh, the bar is allowing us to put it right in front of their place and tap into their power. And uh, we got two bands scheduled. The first one at 5, 10 Beach Drive. Then after that is... Um, um, who is my band? Uh, Dogfish are, are playing, and uh, we're going to be dancing in the street. Shut it down. I think it's going to be well attended. I'm inviting any and all nonprofit organizations if they want to do fundraising. They're more than welcome to come and do their fundraising, and um, <clears throat> it should be a good time. Um, you know, sponsors are actually totally. Um, support, I mean, pay for this event, so it costs our taxpayers nothing. It's uh, provided 100% by sponsorship. I think you might do that annually? Or? Well, I hope to. We'll see maybe. how it goes. Yeah, maybe we can um, do it earlier um, when it's a little warmer in the summer, huh? No, because San Susie doesn't need the help then. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we have um, Kevin Weisorek from Motor City Electric. Um, Lumberjack, and I can't think of the insurance guy in the third, and uh, on the third sponsor. Shame on me, mm. but I'll put it out there for sure. Is it Dave? <clears throat> hmm? No. Nope. Dave? No. Nope. No. Nope. Um, the Scarecrows and uh, Sturgeon Fest last weekend was a great success. I bet you we had over 600 people throughout the day. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we combined the, the, the two events, the Sturgeon Fest and the, the Scarecrow uh, Fest, and uh, it was just great. Every, you know, these kids were walking around and get to pet the sturgeons. You know, we had four live sturgeons. Uh, we had a lot of stuff going on uh, in the games tent. They got to make a, a scarecrow, take it home. We had escape rooms going. And at night, we had a uh, beer tent Friday night and Saturday, and it was well attended, lots of fun. Uh, let's see. And we, we are going to be doing some tweaking. We learned a few things combining the event. But I want to thank Blair Hughes and Steve Guck um, and Sturgeons for tomorrow. Um, and the Friends of the St. Clair River for H Club. Cindy Babish, she worked her butt off on it. <laughs> Clay Township, DDA, Pearl Beach Lions, U.S. Wildlife and Fishery, Fisheries and Wildlife. And uh, they were so happy. They, they, they never showed live sturgeons to so many young people in one, one event. The one guy got his face painted, a sturgeon on his face from face painting. I got my face all painted up. That was fun. Um... But uh, I tell you what, we had a lot of people running around the park with lots of smiles. So I, it was a very good event. That's my supervisor's report. Any public comments? State your name and address, please. Lance Surdy, and I'm speaking for my son, Chad Surdy, who lives at 7870 Bellu and Ira Township. I want to say thank you to the Clay Township firefighter, Bill Huber, and Courtney, and I'm not going to murder the last name, I'm going to say Courtney L. at this point, <coughs> for their mutual aid on a structure fire. And they were there about a minute after Ira Township showed up and helped to uh, put the fire out and made sure everybody was all taken care of. But I want to just say kudos to Clay Township for helping. Uh, they really solved a whole lot of issues at that point. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any other public comments? Seeing none, consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the consent agenda for the board meeting <coughs> minutes of 9-6-22 and 9-19-22. 
the check reports and payroll reports. Support. Okay, we have motion and support. Any uh, questions or anything needs to be pulled out? Hearing none, all in favor of uh, something the consent agenda is written, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Unfinished business. Ooh. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Unfinished business. It's not usually on there. St. Clark <laughs> County Hazard Hazmat Plan Resolution 2022-21B. <coughs> we postponed this. And Justin, you want to come up here and this is Justin Westmiller, our county um, emergency manager. Yes, sir. Thank you all for having me. Uh, so the hazard mitigation plan uh, we've had for a very long time. It was last updated in 2015. This is the five-year required update. It's a little off because of COVID, uh, and we have now aligned the hazard mitigation plan with the county's master plan. So uh, it will be an annex in their master plan. So it's also the <coughs> first time in FEMA's Region 5 and the second time in the country that there's been a hazard mitigation plan approved in a website format, which is what this is. So this plan allows us to um, constantly pull up the most up-to-date information. So even our users at home, you could go home, log into it, uh, and it's on our Be Ready site as well as I shared it with Cindy the, where it's on the county site. Um, you can get into it at any time, and it will give you the most updated uh, area information for your, your municipality. It will give you everything uh, they used to have to do research on will now hopefully automate and, and bring it right to your fingers. So that was our goal. Um, there's no surprises in it, per se. There, uh, we changed around some of the threats because the threats in 2015 are always going to be the threats in 2022. Uh, and that's really the only thing that changed other than the format. So I'm, I'm willing to answer any questions or, or help so, out. So it's not going to be a static report online. It's going to change? It'll constant. Well, so the threats will stay st static for five years. Um, the strategies will stay static for five years. But the, uh, the collated information that is also provided, such as flood facts and, and any other hazard facts, those will constantly stay up to date. Uh, as well as it, it has a lot of mapping in it where you can look and see your area and what's going on in it. That stuff will constantly update too. It's all cool. through ArcGIS. Cool. So, Fun facts too, huh? Right. And I just want to make sure everybody understands the only money tied to a hazard mitigation plan is if there's a federal, a presidential Stafford Act, emergency act, granted to the state of Michigan, um, not in our county, at some point, you know, they'll give $10 million for, you know, like some county in the state, and they can't always spend all that $10 million on hazard mitigation projects. Once they get through a certain period, that opens it up to the whole state, and then we can put projects against whatever money's left over. Um, and we're doing one project right now in East China for a lift station. If that lift station that's on the waterfront road that I can't remember. Right road. Now, yeah. Um, that constantly gets flooded out, even in the winter when we have ice or whatever. So they're building that up, uh, putting a flood package around it, and uh, it, will be, it will be more protected and more useful for our residents. So that's the kind of things that happen with it. Any questions for Justin? So what is the website? Uh, do you have the um, I, I don't. It's, a, it's an ArcGIS-based website, so it's, it's not like www.emergencymanagement.com or anything like that. Um, we sent it out to all the clerks and all the supervisors. Um, I can send it to you as well. I just don't. It's a, there's we'll a lot of numbers and signs. I'm sure we'll put it on our yeah. website too. Yeah. And you can also find it on the Be Ready St. Clair County website. Uh, we have it linked there as well. Even though it's not, it's approved by FEMA, but it's not. You have to have all municipalities before they'll give it a final approval. Um, but it is already up and, and viewable, so you can find it on our Be Ready site. Okay. Yeah, I Any went, more questions for Justin? I went through this. You can see all my little sticky notes. Um, I saw 
it looked like uh, in the city of Algonac and Clay Township, resiliency planning sections have been added to their master plans. So I just wanted to give kudos to the planning commission because he must have put that in there um, to address hay hazard mitigation. So that we're the only two areas that have that. Mm -hmm. Which I noticed there wasn't a whole lot of difference. You know, like you said, right, Cindy, you said you didn't see much difference, but just the verbiage. Talk a lot more about terrorism, right. about the schools, and uh, addressing the parents. Like, what are the, that's a, one of the high priorities is helping the parents if there's some emergencies. Do they have? So, we actually have a separate uh, plan that's not related to hazard mitigation. So, hazard mitigation th as a function mm -hmm. is to harden all community, municipal things in case of a threat, such as. It can be a tornado, it can be a, a terrorist attack, it can be you know, actual warfare, anything that you can think of. And we ranked the top 20 or 25, I think, threats to our county as a whole. Um, and then what we <coughs> asked is those planning commissions that, that add to their municipal master plan, and this is through uh, Metro planning, if there are threats that you see different, let us know. We also polled all of our municipalities, and that's how we came up with that list of 25. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we'll do that every five years. That's part of the requirement for the updating. So in the ongoing updates too, I saw there was a lot of reporting on, you know, when was the last spill. Right. And so if a spill happens, you'll go on and update that, Any anything, windstorms, all that type of thing. It'll yeah, be so updated. we won't go in and update the plan you know, say we have a a, Just the data. a, a federal spill, um, it won't get updated until the next five years oh. as far as the information from that spill. But that will be able to base any mitigation projects against this plan because we talk about oil spill being a threat to part of our county. Okay, great. Uh, there's a lot of information here. It's good stuff. Yes, ma'am. And regarding the other plan I was talking about, we have an active assailant plan that, that every group, every major first responder group in the county has signed off on, and we have adopted it. Um, and it basically, it's a 12-page document, eight to 12-page document that talks about police departments will do this, fire departments will do this, emergency management will do this, school leadership will do this, and everybody has agreed. Uh, we have you know communications capabilities and things like that. So that, uh, for a smaller county, that is a, pretty significant thing for us to have accomplished. Yeah, is that a confidential document? No, but I'm not. I, we're happy to share it with, and your fire chief has it, as well as your police chief. Um, I'm happy to share it. We're just not, it's not going on our website or anything like that. Okay, so it's not available for public view. That's my... Uh... Correct. Okay, that's yeah. what I want to know. Thank you. But it's not something that wouldn't be available via FOIA mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, it may be redacted in some ways. Well, I would think something like that would be uh, on a uh, secured basis. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Okay. It is. We, we do secure it as a, uh, as a working document in our facility, um, but it is not classified okay. by any means. And to expi expand on that, we, ha we actually have individual plans. If, sure. if something happens right. at this school or that school, um, you know, where we're going to do uh, the... Reunification and things right, like that. Yes, sir. The, you know, where we're going to give the students back to the it parents and, you know, where the press is going to be, where our command center is going to be. So, I mean, we, we have it. It's pretty detailed. So. Yeah, and technically it's for official use only, right? Yep. So you would you would have access to review, uh, but I would ask that if you do, you don't share some of those details with your hunting buddies and things like that. <laughs> yes, the, the message will be what self... Right, yeah. yeah. It's not Ten quite seconds. that serious. But. Ten seconds. Right, yeah. All right, I'll entertain a motion. With that, I'll make a motion to adopt the St. Clair County Hazard Mitigation Plan Resolution Number 22-21B. <coughs> support. Motion to support. Any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Artie Bryson. Yes. Christy Hilton. Yes. Crystal Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine, yes. Mark Bouchard, yes. Maureen Boria, yes. Motion passes. Thanks a lot, Justin. Thank you. Do you want us to email this to you? or? Yeah, yeah. if Cindy can just email the, the signed copy to me, yep. I will share it with the state and with FEMA. And okay. And will be all set. In a couple of weeks, you'll get a letter saying that you've adopted the plan under St. Clair County. 
uh, and you'll be approved for five years. All right, cool. All right. Thanks. Thank you all. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Uh, under new business, first thing I want to do is reappoint um, Brian Ch Trepa to a term on the ZBA and then uh, actually uh, nominate uh, Joe Bosey um, from an alternate ZB member, ZBA member to a regular ZBA member. Um, Joe's been serving on, on the board for about two years. He, uh, he's got a good understanding of the process, excellent uh, attendance record, and he will be uh, replacing Joanne Shirky's on uh, term on or position on the board. Who's the uh, ZBA board rep then? Uh, well, it's going to be Maureen. As I'm the alternate. alternate. I'm an alternate. I'll make a motion to approve Brian Treppa and Joe Bosey effective 10 3 2022 through the term of 11 15 2025. Support. Motion, support, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Next, we have our uh, fire department IPA payment. Uh, for print, uh, for the fire trucks, I, I I think of beer every time I see IPA payment, but mm -hmm. it's not. Um, installment purchase purchase agreement. <laughs> so you you wanna expound? I mean, does anyone need any expounding on it? Board, I'll make a motion to approve the fire department IPA payment in the amount of $32,308.39. Support. Okay, a motion to support. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next, we have a work order for St. Clair County uh, Road Commission for doing some ditching. Um, what this is, it's um, on McKinley Road. It's going to uh, basically, uh, right, right now, half the road, the ditch is flowing the wrong way. Not good. Water is supposed to run downhill, but the hill's going the wrong way. <coughs> and um, so we're going to ditch from the middle of... Um, of uh, McKinley, uh, if you know where Jimmy Day lives, basically there, all the way to Gina. And um, the uh, work order is for that. What will come out of our pocket, because you know we have a $10,000, uh, <clears throat> we, we, we're receiving a $10,000 match from the Road Commission, plus our normal share matching funds, we cover this. <coughs> Our share, <coughs> excuse me, will be about sixteen thousand. So, um, but the work order shows, you know, for thirty-three thousand one seventy-three. So, how much are we paying? Out it, it will be approximately sixteen thousand. That's budgeted. I mean, yeah, St. Clair County gives us a one-time. $10,000 for a ditching program. <clears throat> Plus, we're still under our, our our share as far as matching funds for ditches that we, we get. McKinley Township Road? Yeah. So Gina then becomes Cotterville. So if it's 33000 just kind of trying to figure it out. You take the ten thousand off. That's twenty three thousand. And if we get matching, do we pay twelve and they pay twelve? Well, something like that. But I'm, I'm <clears throat> telling the board it won't be Same more than sixteen. 16. Okay. Maureen, I'm I'm reading the description of the project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be, I'm interpreting this as four. It's a forty three thousand dollar project. Oh, okay. And it says that the road commission will pay the first ten. So that takes the balance down to 33, and it says Clay Township agrees to pay the remaining balance estimated at 33,173 with the match money program. So then, what our supervisor already is 
telling us is that he thinks we'll bear approximately one half of the 33,173, correct? <coughs> yes, and, and as a general rule. So 16.5, right? 16.6? Yes. Yeah. And as a general rule, um, the County Road Commission um, overestimates on all these projects that mm -hmm. usually come in under, under costs. <laughs> Where are you seeing the forty thousand? I only see the thirty-three. It's it doesn't in, say forty thousand. Oh, he read it. It's oh. in the description of the project. Oh, gotcha. From the county, St. Clair County Road Commission. I gotcha. See mid mid statement. It's got a description of the project. Yeah, I just, I just yeah say I'll pay the first ten thousand agrees to pay the remaining balance. Yeah, so they don't really say forty, but you add it, it's forty-three. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the St. Clair County Road Commission, Commission ditching in the amount of $33,173 from line 101-446-971. Do we have a second? Support. Okay, any more discussion? Is there a budget number this is coming out of? Yeah, that's 101-446-971. Oh, we got half the sheet. <laughs> okay. It's right here. It's on the right <coughs> I just wish it said something on there, the, you know, that the matchment is 50-50 or... Well, it, it, we're still under the... They don't do that on work orders. Yeah. Because every township's different, every job's different. Mm -hmm. All right, any more discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Christy Hilton. Yes. Chris O'Regan. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Maureen Borey. Yes. Artie Bryson. Yes, you bet. Okay, motion passes. <clears throat> Next, uh, want to form a park grant committee. And truthfully, the only real reason to do it is because if we have a committee, we score better on grants for parks and rec. <laughs> and uh, um, so I, I'd like to appoint myself, Cindy Babish and Cindy Valentine's, Valentine to form our first park grant committee. It's an advisory committee. I'll make a motion to approve the Park Grant Committee, appointing Artie Bryson, Cindy Babish, and Cindy Valentine. Support. Okay, motion support. Any discussion? So you mentioned advisory. What 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 advisory? Well, the committee could meet and say, "Hey, uh, I we're advising the township considered to do this or that." They have no real authority. You don't think a trustee would be well positioned in that uh, spot? Yeah, we got two trustees and the coordinator. I'm talking about someone on our level, if that's where you want to put it. Well, we're all on the same level. <laughs> well, but not, not apparently, no, because you're on it, she's on it, none of us are on it. Never mind. But we're here. Never mind. We're probably really not going to have that many meetings. It's just so that we get right. scoring on the grant. We have so, some, a few meetings, whatever. Yep. And you'll inform us of those meetings, right? Yeah. I, right. Yeah. yeah. Believe me, we're not going to have many. Yeah, I get it. Just I like our election. Mark, Com you walked out the other day and said, I think Cindy should be on that committee. <laughs> I did. You did. You did. <laughs> I, did. I did say that. And thank, and thank You're the God one you're that put on me on the committee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do we have a motion? Yes, and support. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, motion carries. Next, we're going to roll into board member comments. Oh, I already <coughs> mentioned earlier that, uh, yeah, I'm jumping right in there. Uh, the ballots arrived this afternoon at noon, right at lunchtime. Um, we began stuffing them. It is a lengthy process. 
every piece of paper that goes in that ballot envelope that you receive has to be stuffed in there. I am anticipating they will be mailed out Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning. So you should start seeing them arrive this weekend. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mark, you got anything? Uh, yeah, we had the Planning Commission uh, this past Wednesday uh, and the uh, text amendment, uh, zoning ordinance text amendment, solar systems we discussed, uh, the uh, 8575 colony, colony uh, SLU was approved pending confirmation of outstanding items. Uh, the 7479 Dyke Road outside entertainment has not been resolved. And uh, planner to discuss the bridge approach at the North Channel and, and still tweaking the rec plan. That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Maureen? See you dancing in the street. Okay. Chris, got a public service announcement for us? <laughs> of course I do. It's that kind of year. It? It's <laughs> that time. So a couple things that just come to mind this time of year, right? Um, the deer are starting to get real active. Um, Don't veer for the deer. There's a lot of hunters that are out. There's a lot of people pushing through the woods. So just be very careful. We have a lot of deer in our area for whatever reason this, this time of year. Um, secondly, smoke detectors, right? It's not a bad idea to check your batteries, make sure uh, everything's working, CO2 as well. Um, it's probably a really good time of year to change those out. Um, if you're burning wood at home, um, Plenty of time to get a chimney sweep before the bat nasty weather comes in. Um, it's a nice opportunity to do that. To follow that up, it's also a good time for duct cleaning at home. That should be done every, maybe every five to eight years or so. Duck or duck? Duct <laughs> cleaning, already duck okay. cleaning. It's not <coughs> duck season yet, that'll be shortly. But this is a duct cleaning season. Um, it's really important because in the winter you don't circulate fresh air, right? You're just continually, repeatedly circulating the, your, your house air. So if your ducts are dirty, and, and you can tell by the, really the amount of dust that collects on your horizontal surfaces, and if you're abundant with dust, then it's probably time to have your ducts cleaned. Um, and as soon as that gets done, the furnace filters get replaced. So get ready for fall, everybody. It's on us. That's right. That's all I got. Chrissy? Uh, I just want to talk about uh, hackers and spam emails. <coughs> uh, I'm receiving personally a ton in my own email. We're receiving them here. So I just want to tell everyone, don't, if it looks weird, I mean, you can kind of see spelling, they're using all kinds of colors, don't click on links, don't open attachments. I did put something on my page on the website. Um, no one will ever contact you and tell you that you have to pay with a gift card or pay with PayPal. Um, no one will ever tell you that you can't come in and pay with cash. So even if you get a telephone call and the, you know, I mean, it, it happened in our family where someone called and said, grandma, I need, you know, I need help. I need you to Western Union money. We also had a customer that came in and somehow uh, he gave access to his bank account to a person on the phone. Just hang up, <coughs> call, call the police and ask if that's something that someone would be doing because no one is going to call and and have you do that you know for good purposes and if it's too good to be true it probably isn't yes. true no one has four million dollars that they want you to help them i had one of those i had one of those phone calls and you know he wanted me to wire month this and that and i said hey i you know I, I need 50 bucks to get to the gas station and put and do this you know, would you send me 50 bucks? And they hung up. Yeah. So, <laughs> and uh, are you done? Yes. Okay. And also, uh, this found on Chris's on the, um, changing your batteries on the fire, on the um, smoke and CO2 detectors. If, if you don't want to get on a ladder to do it or need any help whatsoever changing them, call our fire department. We will gladly come over there make an appointment to uh, check it change it out and test them and everything else for you isn't that right chief yes <laughs> and I would just um, like to say if, if, if most of us know somebody that was affected by the hurricane in uh, Florida I just want to put out prayers to them 
that uh, they're going through a, a, a hard time. I know I have personal experience. I was living in the Panhandle and Hurricane Opal came and I was running a little bungalow right on the beach. It was pretty slick, gone. And uh, you know, I you know I was down there for about ten days helping them clean up and and everything else. It's very challenging. The busiest people right now in Fort Myers area are the guys changing flat tires. Because man, you get flat tires after a hurricane. <clears throat> so, no, I had personal experience with that. And then also, like, have, hope everyone has a safe fall. There's lots of kids' activities going on with Halloween. Uh, like Chris said, a lot of animals running around and uh, everything else. So just slow down a little bit. And let's have a safe fall. <clears throat> so. And that our next meeting. Uh, uh, let's, uh, we got to close and go into closed session. Yes, but I, just so the public knows, our next meeting is October 17th, 2022 at 6 p.m. Yep. Okay. I it, will make a motion to go to enter closed session to consult with legal counsel regarding trial and or settlement strategy in connection with pending litigation being Edward and Dr. <coughs> Wendy Lambert versus Clay Township at L. St. Clair County Circuit Court case number 22-0019022AA pursuant to MCL 15268E. 